Um, so kind of in spirit of the Rachel Zoe project being back on, and I love that show. If you haven't checked it out, you should definitely go watch it. Um, but I decided to do a look for less based off of Rachel Zoe, and this is a photo that I used for inspiration. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'm going to go ahead and kind of explain the outfit and the hair that I found to match this photo. Now to get Rachel's really messy textured hair, I decided to braid a few pieces of my hair while it was damp. To mimic the color that Rachel was wearing in the photo, I used Essie's Very Structured Nail Polish. It's like a deep burnt orange color. Now as far as makeup, Rachel always has a very glowy complexion, so I took a cream bronzer and put this on the places that your skin would naturally be touched by the sun, and then I took a cream highlighter and applied it up my cheekbones. Her eye makeup was very simple, so I just took a white NYX Jumbo eyeshadow pencil and applied this to my lids and blended it out, because she had very bright eye effect on her eyelids. And then I took a really kind of very shimmery neutral color and applied this underneath my brow bone and all over the lid. And then she really had the effect of really full lashes. So I'm taking this black eyeliner pencil that's kind of thick and I'm smudging this more towards the outer corners of my lashes to give that effect. Then I'm taking a black eyeshadow and I'm going to smudge and just intensify the liner a bit more. So don't worry if you mess up because this will fix any mistakes. Next I'm going to curl my eyelashes because her lashes are really the main focal point of her whole look. They were very full and curled. And then I'm applying my favorite volumizing mascara which is um, CoverGirl's Lash Blast. Now for her lips, this is CoverGirl's Burn Lipstick, which again is kind of like a deep burnt orange color. And then I'm mixing a little bit of this darker color from the NYX palette to create a deeper lip. And there you go, it was the finished lip look. So there is kind of the comparison towards Rachel's look and mine. Now I'm going to go ahead and take out the braids. And this will reveal the really beachy, messy texture that she always has on her hair. Then I'm going to take a large barrel wand and I'm going to wrap a few pieces around the front of my face just to get a little bit more of a polished look. But overall this will blend into the messy texture from the braids. And you don't have to use as much heat on your hair because the rest of your hair already has that natural texture to it. And then right here, I decided to spray a little bit of dry shampoo to get even more texture. And then I'm going to braid my bangs because Rachel has her hair done like this on in the inspiration photo. So there's the finished look. Now on to the clothes. Hi everyone, so today's look for less is going to be this photo of Rachel Zoe that I have, which I absolutely love. I just think it's so cute. Um, she has this really kind of burnt orange dress on with like an off-the-shoulder detailing. She has some long gold necklaces on, a really pretty like flower ring, and then a bunch of gold bangles and bracelets. And then her hair is in these really messy kind of textured, kind of crimped look with like a big braid on the side. And her makeup is very, very simple, just a lot of eyeliner on her top lash line, um, some thick lashes, and kind of like a dark burnt orange lip and her nails are in the same kind of burnt orange color. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I recreated um, this look of hers and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so first obviously you saw the hair and makeup that I just did and the nail polish as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get on to the outfit. Okay, so the first item is this dress and this is very similar to the one Rachel was wearing in the photo. Um, although this normally had sleeves kind of that came up like this but I just decided to pull them off the shoulder and I actually got this dress from Arden B and I believe it was $39 and it's the exact color basically of the one that Rachel was wearing in her photo um, and then it has kind of a big fluttery sleeve and it kind of um, goes a little bit shorter than Rachel's maxi dress but it does give kind of a very similar effect to the dress she's wearing and then the other main staple piece that I saw in the inspiration photo was her leopard print bag that was kind of in a very um, similar style to this one, just kind of a square bag. Now this one actually has a little bit of detailing on the front, but if you turn it around like this, it looks very similar to the one that is right next to Rachel in this photo. 
And this bag is actually bought from Baker's, which is like a shoe store that also sells like handbags and accessories. So I love that. And then as far as accessories, she had a lot of great accessories on. She had a ring that looked really similar to this one of kind of like a, um, a big rose flower detail. And this is actually from Forever 21. And then she had some gold bangles on and these ones are from Forever 21. And then on her other arm she had like a big bangle and I really love this kind of daisy pattern. And again, this one is from Forever 21 as well. So overall, here is my recreation of Rachel Zoe's look, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys soon. Bye, everyone.